Hi, I'm Julia Lounger and I'm from Plotville High School and this is my prep profile. Julia, a multiple sport athlete, three sports, track, volleyball, and basketball. How did you become involved in them and how have they kind of been able to relate or you kind of transition from one to another? Well, I started in them because my older sister was very involved in sports and those exact three sports. So I grew up watching her play them and I'd always have to go against her and I got beat up pretty good sometimes, but that's how it all started. And they actually do transition between them pretty good because in the summer you can work on, you can go on runs for track, which is a long ways away, so you don't really have to get ready for that. But volleyball and basketball, you just put like get some strength and work on conditioning, and you go to volleyball where you have to be pretty good jumping shape and like quick movements. And then you transition to basketball where it's also some quick movements, but you need some more endurance and you still have to jump a lot. And then to track, you have that like running, endurance, and stamina to keep up with track. Now you've got a great high school career, three sports, uh, four-time letter winner, but a little unfortunate accident at the end of the basketball season. Yeah, I during our last regular season game at Richland Center, we it was like the second quarter and we were down and I went for a steal and my knee, it like hyperextended and buckled and they thought originally it was my ACL for if the MRI said it was an ACL, they all thought it was an ACL. So I went, I tried to run track on it, and then that didn't work the best. So I went in for my surgery, and they went into the surgery and just realized it was just my meniscus, and my ACL was just partially torn, along with a bunch of other injuries that happened to my knee. So that was the end of my track season. <laughs> so now you've been able to kind of transition now as a, like a student assistant? Yeah, me and one of the, one of the girls that's been on my relay teams all the last year. She tore ACL this year. So both of us have been like student coaches for the team, helping out whenever the coaches need or giving advice to everybody. So it's been fun. Yeah, I'm sure that's tough not being able to compete, but yeah, what have you, have you learned anything from being a coach and seeing things on the other side? Oh, definitely. You see the other side of what the coaches are going through when the athletes complain like I used to and just stuff like that. So you learn a lot from the other side. So the one sport you wish you could play, ultimate frisbee. Have you ever tried that? Uh, some of my friends and I have get together every like Tuesday night in the summer and play it, and we have quite a bit of fun, but it's not too competitive. So competitive ultimate frisbee, I think, would be pretty fun. Now, congrats on your grade point. A four point all through high school is outstanding. You said science is your favorite, but your favorite teacher is Mr. Mall. He is our chemistry teacher and our advanced chemistry teacher. He's also the sprint coach, so I've had some encounters with him through track so it's just he's a good guy and now uh, for you when, when freshmen come in what do you think you tell a freshman now coming into school about school and sports how have you been able to balance the academics and the athletics you really have to focus on your schoolwork. yeah you're gonna have times where you just want to focus on your sport during like playoffs and stuff like that but you have to remember that school is what's going to get you farther in life down the road. Sports are just here to have fun for a while and grow some, get some good friendships. And you're just going to have to find a way to balance it, whether it's staying up later at night and getting your homework done. It's got to be done. Now, uh, you uh, list your older, your role models, your older sister Elizabeth, but your most inspirational teammate was it Trisha. Yeah, Trisha Saris. She, she, I, she was on all the relay teams with me throughout the year. She's graduated last year, and she's been a best friend of mine since I was really little. She's a year older, so she, she was kind of like a role model. But she was so positive, and she was just such a great athlete. Uh, for you, what's been the best part about uh, Platteville High School? Is it uh, being able to participate in so many activities? Yeah, I like that. It's not too big, but it's not too small. You know, pretty much everybody. But yet you don't you don't know everything, and you can. There's so many great relationships from sports to sports that develop with friends. Obviously, a leader, uh, student council president for your class and National Honor Society. Uh, how do you fit everything in? <laughs> Time management skills is that probably the first thing you learn? Yeah, you got to get pretty organized. Know when to be here, when to be there, and just try to balance it all. And from a volunteer standpoint, you've done a number of things, including coaching. Uh, do you have something in particular that you've liked, uh, either through NHS or through the coaching that you've enjoyed? Uh, I really enjoy whenever we can get out and coach the little kids around the area. I really like we coach a volleyball camp every summer 
from the Platteville High School like sponsors it and we pick a grade each athlete picks a grade to like coach and I've coached seventh grade for the last four years and it's just so fun getting they are just starting their knowledge about volleyball and just starting to know how much fun it can be and they're just getting the skills down so that really starts coming around and it's a lot of fun to watch that. Plans uh, attend the University of Wisconsin Madison. Yep. What do you plan to study and how did you kind of decide that? Uh, I plan to study kinesiology or biology, and I want to end up in a field either physical therapy or orthopedic PA. And I've come through that because being a three-sport athlete over the years, I've had my fair share of injuries, and I've had a lot of like encounters with the orthopedic field and rehabbing. And I just think I'm really fascinated by all that. And my favorite subject in school is like science and the body, and it, that just really interests me. That's the favorite team, Badgers. Bears? Yeah. <laughs> Do you get to take any ribbing or because the Bears used to train here, is that kind of a natural? Yeah. There's still a lot of Bear fans here. It's because they used to train here and I became a Bears fan and I still get a lot of grief from my Packer friends because Packers still rule this area, but go Bears. <laughs> Uh, as far as your favorite opponents, uh, different ones for every sport. Uh, yeah. Is uh, that some of the best parts about being in athletics is uh, the competition with uh, your rivals? Yeah, you get different teams are good at, or different schools are good at different sports, and you just get to go against these great athletes, and it's so fun to compete. Now, you list your favorite website is Twitter. Are you are you big on the uh, uh, social networks, and are you, do you spend a lot of time doing that? Uh, uh, Facebook or. On my phone, I'm on Twitter quite often, Facebook every once in a while, so yeah. Do you have a favorite uh, Twitter, somebody on the, uh, the on your account, or somebody that you follow, or? Not necessarily. So just <laughs> just uh, all of them have their moments. And uh, I, because that's now part of the, I guess, the high school experience, do the coaches talk to you about that before the season about... What you should do, what you shouldn't do with that. Yeah, I've actually had some friends get in trouble for what they've posted on Twitter. So you can't put everything out there. And they kind of talk about you got to hold back on everything that you tweet. Putting down a teammate on there, it'll get out or something like that. Uh, they tell you uh, don't put anything you don't want your mom to see. Yeah, kind of a thing, definitely. So. And uh, you list a uh, favorite movie, uh, Remember the Titans. Yeah. So are you a football fan? Definitely. I love watching football. It's probably my favorite sport to watch, honestly. So yeah. What what's your when you're not playing a sport? What's the favorite one that you've gone to here? Is there a particular team that you like to follow in your school or? Um, I like watching the football team yeah. and just any sport. I like getting out and supporting the other teams, but I'd have to say the football games are so fun. Friday okay. night lights. And when you look back at your time uh, here, what do you think you remember the most? How has the school or the community you think shaped you? I think I'll remember all the teammates and friends I've made from sports. I think that's a huge part of my experience here at Popple High School, being so involved in them, and I think that's what I'm going to take with me the most. Well, Julie, congrats on a great high school career, and I uh, hope uh, a number of your teammates get to state and track and get to go with them. Let's hope. <laughs>